Hello, welcome to the Reasonably Effective Podcast. I am Uncommon Fossil, and joining me as always is 10 Types. Why don't you say hello? Yep. Hello, everyone. Very well said. So this past week has been one of much news uh, for a lot of new cards. Pokemon is really pumping out information. We are about two weeks away from Paldean Fates coming out. There hasn't been much about that. Um, largely, that's a lot of it's going to be like shiny or whatever the t- special arts and, and finishes on cards. But then Temporal Forces comes out late March, and we also have rotation hitting. So we kind of want to consider the new cards and with rotation, how how these new cards are going to help fill the void for some of these old cards. Is that Did I sum up correctly there? Yeah. One thing I want to say is that all the cards that we've seen revealed aren't necessarily going to be coming in uh, Temporal Forces. I think actually most of these will. But there's yeah. some um, that we talked about, I think it was last week or it might have been two weeks ago, there were a bunch of like ancient and future Pokemon, and I don't know yeah. if they're all going to be coming in Temporal Forces. Um, there's honestly more cards revealed than I expected. Uh, they could all be coming in, and I'd, I'd like it if they did, but uh, right. Well, yeah. probably a few will miss the cut. Right. I mean, th- like like this one article, which is going to be the first one. I look at the the first opening two sentences. A new item card has been revealed from Japan's Wild Force in Cyber Dodge, which I think comes out very soon. And then this set, yeah, releases on January 26. We expect their their cards to become part of the Temporal Forces set in March. But it says the you know we expect so there's all there's often a, a few cards that get left out. Yeah, um, usually the bad ones as well. Yes, which then leads to a really bad set at the very end because they have to dump all the stuff at the end. But yes, mm-hmm. Fusion Strike. He well, Fusion Strike wasn't. Yeah, I mean it had one very good. Pokemon and, and deck, and then it was a bunch of whatever with it, for the most part. Yeah, um, but the first card we want to talk about here today, and as I said, I think you said all these are coming post-rotation, is yes. Buddy Poffin. I don't know if this is the official name. It probably isn't. Wait, what is a Buddy Poffin? Is this uh, like a thing? I don't know. It's po- well, the spelling is like a Poffin is a type of, like a penguin type thing. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. And it looks like a the the what brioche two pieces of 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 like a toasted bread with some topping on it right red and green yeah. actually in this case I don't know what it is uh, it's like I, or is I it don't a, know. Is a sweet like thing pastry. or a savory I I have no idea what it is so yeah and like why is it like a I don't know uh anyways um if we're just idiots and it's something <laughs> obvious tell us down below in the comments but um yeah so that doesn't really matter what that matters is what no. the card does it's an item and I think yep. I talked about this on my channel and did you talk about it on yours I don't remember now I, I I don't normally talk about the new cards but there has been so so much I did talk about some things Okay, um, and so it's an item, uh, and search deck, it says search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less, and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Um, so this is obviously kind of like Battle VIP Pass, but it's it can be played every turn, well, uh, but it, not... It's both better and worse than Battle VIP, Battle VIP Pass, right? It can only get yeah. low HP Pokemon, but it's not first turn only. And yes, Battle yeah, I will v- say this is, Go on. I, I would say this is probably worse. I guess. Oh, look, I look. I mean, Battle BAP Pass is rotating, and I just want to talk about that in a minute. I'm, I really dislike the card. I gotta say, and I, I started playing it more, but it's just such a random card, right? If you hit one, or if you hit two, especially turn one, you are just so set up, and and if you miss it, you're just often dead in the water, and and it's just too much swing on that on that one card, in my opinion. Um. Yeah. I guess. I. I feel like. Also, I like sometimes. So I've been playing it more as well. I've been playing Lost Zone. Um, yeah. Because I'm I'm so cool. <laughs> um, but no, I've been playing Lost Zone, and I play four Nest Ball, four Battle VIP Pass. That's it for Pokemon Search. Yep. Um, and like I, I I for most of the time I just like don't draw it. But then like sometimes like there's a game where I do two, but I didn't even yeah. like need to get four Pokemon. <laughs> so like, I feel like the value of Battle VIP Pass. I think it's like a card that's overhyped. Some people say it's like super good, mm-hmm. and it's like good, but it's not like insane. But, it's, it, it's just super swingy, though, right? I mean, that's what I don't like. Um, I, it, I guess. I don't think it's as swingy as, like, it's not as good, so it's not as swingy. But it, it's still good. Like, it, a Nest Ball versus a Battle of AP Pass isn't that different, in my opinion. Like, it's, I mean, like, if you hit two Nest Balls versus two Battle of AP Pass, you're fine either way. Yeah, I, I mean, it depends on the deck, right? How many Pokemon do you need to get in play, right? 
to start the game. That this is yeah. first this and in particularly Battle for AP Pass, obviously for low HP Pokemon that evolve, and obviously with the EX Pokemon that are if they evolve, they start with low HP Pokemon, so you can probably hit it. Um, and of course, it's not a dead card after your first turn, and I like that about it too, because part of that Battle for AP Pass with card decks where you can't get it out of play, you know, you're just looking at a card that that's useless when you draw into it. Yeah. So, um, but so you you said this with like low HP evolving Pokemon. You're looking at like, I mean, pretty much every basic that evolves is 70 HP or less. I I think. I I. Th- or a single prize basic, not. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, are are there some 80 HP too? Right. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, is there a a Charmander that's 80 HP and stuff? Like, cause no, sometimes there's, you, there's not. I'm it's what sure 60 or 70 is what you know. Is, is yeah. Your um. So yeah, I mean, it, it means that the, if they want to print some at eighty HP, they have that option to make it harder to to get it set up, which which you know gives them another way to help balance the game out. Yeah, but now I want to turn your attention to a card that someone I think it was Twilight Chomper enthusiast. I don't know. Someone commented on a video, and I had not thought about this really at all. And that's Ditto from uh, one fifty one. That's so the, okay. Which is the one that it can become any Pokemon. Uh, well, a bit, any basic, yeah. So its ability transformative start once during your first turn. Uh, if this Pokemon isn't your active, uh, you may search your deck for uh, you may search your deck and choose a basic Pokemon and swap it with Ditto. It can't be another Ditto, but like, why would you do that? Um, and right. then you discard Ditto in the attached cards and then put the Pokemon in this place, and then you shuffle your deck. So it kind of turns Buddy Poffin in a 60 HP. So it is searchable off of Buddy Poffin. You grab that. And then it's now it needs to be in the active. Right, but, you have to um, switch. Allows... That's that's my concern, right? You you need two things. You need Buddy Poffin and a switch card. And otherwise, if you can't switch it, then the Ditto's just garbage. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. But um, I I think this is really nice. Um, and, and it doesn't do nothing. It has it has splup. <laughs> it does have splup. Yes, <laughs> uh, splup is pretty much a, pretty close to nothing, though, right? But it, Wow, it, it's it's no, it's, a, um, it's a nice look. I I give them credit for the name, but yeah, ten ten. It's only one one energy at least, right? At least they didn't make it two energy, but ten damage. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. No, but I I think it's like I, I like that concept. Um, yeah. I think, I think it's a good concept. Like it. I mean, it just turns into like like a a more clunky battle VIP pass, which isn't really like a good thing for the game. But I don't think it's right. like, it's not like that hard to pull off. Um, there is a new card we'll be looking at, which uh, I guess loosely I sent you with this, uh, as well as like a, it's like kind of a switchy card. Mm-hmm. And obviously there are like still the switch and and uh, switch card are still going to survive. Yes, rotation. and jet energy. Yeah, there, there are a number of things. Now, if uh, you... although jet energy, huh? go on. So with jet energy, if you attach it, like normally you can jet energy attach it to comfy. And then, like, retreat it. You can't do that here because you'll turn the ditto into something else and the energy will get discarded. Okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering. I just read the card, yeah. So you lose what's attached to it. So that's a downside. But, it, well, the, it, it, we are losing escape rope, right? And obviously that's an important yeah. card. And that's a switching loss, too. So um, I don't know if decks are going to run less switch or switching cards or not as a result, so... I don't know. I mean, you can, like, if you're, like, an evolution deck, I guess. But evolution decks don't really, like, they don't run more than four switch. Um, and then and we have Prime Catcher as well, which is, like, a switch. And then, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, and if you're a basic deck, like, Lost Zone doesn't usually run more than eight, like, item switch. No, but I play a lot of decks that play, like, two switch, right? Like, like the old traditional Arceus deck that you play a switch and a rope, right? And I could put two switch, but if I only play, yeah. like, in, in the other decks, too, like, if you only play, like, two switch in decks, then there's a good chance you're not going to have the switch to pull off the ditto, in which case, besides the Buddy Poffin and, and the ditto, then I need extra switch cards in deck, and oh, now yeah. I've made the deck worse, probably. But, but Arceus doesn't play Battle VIP, VIP Pass, either, does it? No, it does not. You're right. But but there's other decks that play, like, just two switch. That was the, the deck that came to mind, because I... That's like on a default of one switch, one rope is almost like carved in stone someplace. That that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't think this is necessarily as good as Battle VIP Pass, but I think it's pretty close with Ditto and obviously being able to be played on other turns um, to grab like your Charmanders and Pidgeys and 
uh, fidget backs and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I like the card, and, and I like the fact you can use it later. Talking rotation in mentioning Ditto, I was I'm sad that we're losing the, the Ditto that copies basic attacks because that would have been nice to get and play with Buddy Pop. Who we are, I'm pretty sure, right? Unless uh, I'm, I'm, no, we aren't losing the Ditto that copies. no, it's, it came in Pokemon Go. Oh, it's in Go, and okay, you're right, it's an yeah. F. Okay, you're right. I was thinking about it a different way. So okay, so we have that too, and that's 70 HP. So. So my Ditto decks are are twice as good now. So exactly now you can get all your attackers on your bench and <laughs> not use them because they're on the bench. Because I can't get anything. Well, that's true too. But um, anyway, look, it's it, it's a nice card. We're losing Battle VIP Pass, so it, it it's definitely a plus there. We're also losing Level Ball, right? Which is similar, covers some of the same ground as this too, right? Level Ball, which gets ninety HP or less. Now that can get evolutions, of course, which is a big loss to things like. Uh, the, the Curlia engine too, but um, yeah, Buddy Poffin makes up some of what Level Ball provided. Yeah, I, th I think Buddy Poffin will be cool. I think enough of that though. I think uh, you know people have talked about it a lot. Yeah. So next up, we got a couple of cards here. We got a Sableye. I'll talk about first. For two colorless damage collector, move any number of damage cast from your opponent's bench to their active. I don't think there's too much to say about this card. I mean, it can theoretically be useful. But I think we have more more interesting cards to talk about. What what now you jumped ahead. What article are you talking about now with the sable eye? Oh, okay. The, yeah. All right, you skipped the missed um, energy. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. Wait, did I skip and do it? Are my articles? Uh oh, I deleted an article. Yeah, okay. So uh, we have, so missed energy, which is let's see, it's got the um Rabaska, which is a stage one um grass one. Uh, which does which about what spherical shield prevent all damage from an attacks uh, from an effects of attacks to your bench Pokemon by attacks from your opponent for your opponent's Pokemon. So that could could be useful. And yeah, it's interesting. I feel like it's it's kind of like Manaphy plus Jirachi, but it's also stage one. Like I'd rather probably yeah. play Manaphy and Jirachi. Um, I I would agree. Um. And the attack here it's isn't not, great, not so I, I I don't know. Maybe in a grass deck you would want it, but uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, oh, are we? We have the. Um, all right. What's the the grottle? Is that 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 with the different the, the stage two and the stage one looks for other grass type? Is that staying in format? Or are we losing that? Uh, yeah, it, it is staying in format. Um, so, I'm almost certain. I. I could, I'll check, I guess, but it, it should. Um, it was in Brilliant Stars, so unless something weird, yep, it's staying. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you could do that, but like, you, well, I, you need to be playing a grass deck at that point. Right, a grass deck, because you had, because it was often with the EX of Pokemon that with the evolutions, right? With grass, with, or the po with energy attached or, or whatever, right? So, um, the based on damage, there are some things, yeah, but it's, 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 go ahead. Toad School is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, Toad School. I was thinking so, but that's very. Oh, I'm neat. sorry. By the way, uh, as well, if our if our um, I'm kind of out of sync because we were recording together and now we're recording separately and we're kind of miss, we're um we're changing some stuff up. So sorry about the some of the weird stuff. Hopefully the audio sounds good and all that as well. Right. Yeah. It's more more prone to talk over each other. It's, we've got to get the rhythm back. We had what three episodes in a row. We, we were sitting side by side, so adjusting. But yeah, Rabaska, we said it, it, it could be a, a niche Pokemon, but it's not great. And then Mist Energy uh, provides one colorless special energy, and it prevents all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. So again, I don't know it's going to see a ton of play. Um, obviously, Lugia needs special energy. It's losing. It got really crushed last year with rotation. It gets hurt, set back a little more, so maybe that plays it. Obviously, what's it losing that's like that important? Is it? I think there's two then? colorless special energies we're losing. I think gift energy. They're not great. No, but, but no. If you, but I if, thought but if we were play... losing. Are we? No, gift is. I think we're not losing gift. I thought we were. That was in silver tempest. I think. It, I think it's luff, lucky. Oh, uh, lucky! And, yeah, and um, and treasure. Uh, that that sounds right. Yeah, that could be. There's there's. Those aren't like good. Treasure is really bad. No. Um, but 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 but. But if you're playing close Lugia, your your choices are limited. That that's you know. Well, but they're better than treasure and, and gift probably. Like you could play gift. Some some must play gift, I guess. But 
And or of no, course, sorry, I mean lucky, not gift. I think gift's better than lucky. Yeah, look, it hurts. That's about, and, and it's obviously losing single strike, right? We're losing all the battle styles. So single strike yeah. Lugia is, is a thing of the past. So I'm just saying, but the biggest thing is like a, a, something like Giratina V Star that blows up like tanky Pokemon. Obviously, it, there's decks that you're, you're designed to tank, not get one shot, and something like Giratina is scary. So maybe it could go in a deck in something like that. I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, especially with both Giratina and Roaring Moon around, it stops Stabilize. It had known as some like value, but I, I think it, I think it'll see some play. Obviously, potentially in the future we'll see better like effects attacks, but I don't know. Right now they're like pretty decent, so I don't know if they'll get get it much better. Yeah, I mean, Mist Energies maybe, but maybe not for play, right? Yeah, I think it'll see some play, um, especially because like Jirachi saw play, and in my opinion, Jirachi wasn't good. Like I, I, I played with it. I played against it because, I, as I said, I played Lost Zone, and like I don't really mind it. Like it's not ideal if my opponent plays Jirachi, but it's not like that bad either. So, it it also shuts off Snorlax. No, not Snorlax Doll. I I don't know if Mawile is rotating, but uh, anything that that has a can't retreat effect that gets taken away, right? As well yeah, as poison uh, and and uh, burn, right? Effects of um, attacks. Yeah, yeah, it, it will stop. Attacks inflicting special conditions, but it won't remove the special condition. Correct. Um, I think this card's pretty cool. Um, we'll see how good it is. I think it'll see some play at some point. Um, but I, I don't know for what. I think, like, as you said, Carlos Lugia, it could play this. It might check in a copy of it. Because, like, Lugia kind of wants to be tanky. But we'll see. Right. I mean, I've been playing a few tanky decks. And, I, and and obviously, yeah, like you said, Roaring Moon, as well as Giratina, is a scary matchup. So maybe one or two copies. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. It, it's, a, it's a card I like in that it, it's an okay card that could see play, but it's not overpowered. So that that's where I like things, personally. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fair. Um, and then I, the article I skipped to, uh, I don't think there's much to say about Sableye, right? No. Um, well, the second attack is an interesting one. Damage collector, move any number of damage counters your opponent's benched Pokemon to their active. Is that going to be good? I'm not sure, right? It, it doesn't... I, I don't, I'm just not sure. Yeah. I think, well, potentially, like you mentioned, Ditto Box, like, you can use Double Turbo and it's not negatively affected, but, like, I don't know. I think I think time will tell, but right now... Yeah. It, um, it's not, it's not the time for it. No, you know, no, it's worse than Tapu Lele as well, right? You don't move damage anywhere. It's only to one Pokemon. It mm-hmm. could be useful, but it's not amazing. Right. I guess the question is: This a Gardevoir counter? Um, something like that. I I don't know. I don't I mean, know. I'm just trying I to feel th- like probably not because it's kind of like they're usually only gonna have put damage on one Pokemon, and in that Pokemon will be like. Yeah, you could take chaos with this, but you're not like doing anything better than just a normal attack. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, and I'm in just fact, you're to... healing off the Pokemon that has all the damage on it. Right, and that so. and that is a big downside. Yeah, um, especially well, for God War. There are some right, some of the new cards that that do more damage if you have damaged Pokemon. So maybe it becomes a counter to that. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But, anyway, um, yeah. I think we should talk about. The Dunsparce now, now though. Um, yes. Oh, and first of all, Dunsparce, the one that stops weakness uh, for Carlos Pokemon, is rotating. I don't think that's a big deal. Do you think that's a big deal? No, it hasn't seen a lot of play. You know, at the heyday of Arceus, it saw some play. Um, and same thing with Lugia. Right, but it it hasn't seen much play in a while. Uh, look, it, it would be good if it was obviously better if it was around, especially because we have uh one one of a, a, the more recent Pokemon with its ability, you'd probably play it in this deck, but um it you know wait what? The one that lets you no forget I, I I'm completely wrong on that. So forget that. I was thinking copying attacks, but I it obviously this is an ability. Abilities don't oh, yeah, come yeah. through. So um you probably play that you might play that one in some decks if it's colors deck, the other Dunsparce, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. I, I heard some people saying that like they think it's one of the bigger losses from rotation. Um I don't think so. The only reason I'd say that is if, like, the other losses aren't meaningful. Right, and I lo- and I love playing Arceus in particular, and you know, I Dunsparce is is something I played at times, but not most of the time, and, and I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, um, but anyway, so to Dunsparce, uh, do you want to read it? 
yeah, so it's a stage one, 140 HP. So that's a, a solid uh, HP on a, on a single prize stage one. Um, its retreat cost is three, so that's rough. But it's got the ability, it's really a bench Pokemon with a dashing draw ability. Again, those translations may or not be correct of the name, but once during your turn, you may draw three cards. If you do, shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. So um, it's it's kind of, it's not the search of the old Drizzile, but it's kind of Drizzile with Scoop Up Net combined in that sense, because you get it out of play, you actually get it into your deck. So it's not your hand, but you know, all you play it, you use the ability, and then it gets out of play immediately because it's a dead card at that point. So I like that shuffle back aspect and drawing three is quite nice. Okay, you uh, um, you don't you don't you like say, what I said. I don't know. I think it. I, I wouldn't compare it to Drizzile. Well, um, the, the the Drizzle point is is it's a card that you was a non playability, and then you then you want to get out of play a lot of times. You scooped yeah, it up, right? Yeah, or it's not action. It's it's better than a non playability because you can do it whenever. Which one? Oh, oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking it was on play. You're right. It's not. So you can play it and leave it. You just it shuffles away when when you decide to activate it. Okay, and it's yeah. 140 HP, so if you leave it there, it's not it's not getting sniped as easily as, as some other Pokemon. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's okay. Obviously, drawing three is good. Um, we have a bunch of different engines. Drawing three is quite good, right? I mean, adding three well, to your current hand is, 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 is very good. Yeah, but we've seen cards that are like on play draw three. Um, there was the the one I think of off the top of my head, I think is Manectric, but there have been like a bunch that are kind of like that. Um, like there's the Crobat line, which like hasn't really seen any, but like they've seen play in weird niche things, but like haven't really seen play. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's okay. You can search out the basic with Buddy Poffin, which is actually pretty nice. Right. You get two on the bench, which, which is what you're going to want to do. Cause you're going to want to either get two in a turn or kind of stagger it. So you're getting one per turn. Yeah. And it kind of allows you to like churn through your deck. Yeah. It's kind of anti Iona, which is nice, anti judge. Um, I, I think I kinda like it. Mm hmm Well, it's anti Iono in both that that gets you cards if you're if you if you're only getting a couple cards with Iono, plus it shuffles your deck, and there are times you want to shuffle your deck, right? Uh, well. Yeah, that's true. There are times you don't as well. I think there yeah. are probably about as many either way. Th that's true. Um I I think it's a pretty intriguing card. I, I'm like you know, I don't think we're losing any big engines with rotation. Um, you know, we're losing a card like Mew from Celebrations that that gets you something, but we're not losing. Last a year ago, we lost. You know, with the the Intelliant engine going away, we lost a big piece. I don't think we're losing big engines this this time. But I like this as an engine. It's not is as good as Curlia or Barrel, probably not. Um, but you know, I've I've I've, I, I've certainly enjoyed messing around with the Zatu engine. Which is which is fun and but inconsistent. I think this will perform better than certainly the Zatu engine for in terms of consistency. So well, the Zatu engines, yeah, the Zatu engine is like really powerful, but like because it, it accelerates. It, yeah, but also again, it's just like least consistent. I feel like comparing it to Zatu doesn't really make. I know it's the. I don't know, maybe it kind of is because you need like a card. You need to like get certain cards for it to work. Um, and this time you need a button. You need to get the Dedun sparses over and over again. Um, and keep in mind like. If you're drawing to Dun Spices, those are cards that aren't like cards that you need. Right. Um, so you're kind of like you're like not exactly drawing three cards. You're like drawing maybe like two, but that's like still good if you're drawing two. Um, I don't know. I think it's really intriguing, is what I'll say. I, I mean, I look, I'm looking forward to messing around with this. Whether it's going to how successful it will be, I don't know. But I think it's to me, it opens up options that I'm looking forward to to messing around with. Yeah, and it does open up your bench, which means that, like, late game, if you, mm -hmm. like, are out of bench space, you can just, like, get them off and then get, like, all your dun sparses off and then play down your basics that you need uh, or whatever. Yeah. Which could be good, but uh, yeah. I don't know if it's that good. There's definitely decks where, where, where you fill up the bench and you're in trouble, right? That you yeah, have but, like, can't but, bench that, but you're still filling up your bench, like, most of the game. You so, are, although, hey, we, we still keep Collapse Stadium, right? It's staying in format, so a full bench, get rid of the big HP Pokemon, and then you can free up some more spaces to bench something back down again. Uh, you uh, know. That's true. Uh, look, I think it's... Is it It's not... Is it as good as the Curly Engine? No. Is it good as the Barrel Squovit? No. But it's a little different. It's, it's interesting, I think. 
That's what I say. Yeah. And it's and it's tankier than either of those. Certainly, the curlias are well, are yeah, weak. Yeah, but like, uh, uh, okay. Um, you don't. You, you, I'm, you, I'm not a you don't like I'm it. Not a yeah. No, I think it could be funny. I think it's kind of cool. I like the. It reminds me kind of Flapple, or which is kind of like Starmie, which like clears your bench when you use disability, which I kind of like. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting um, thought to me. But anyway, we, we're moving on. Yeah. Um. Actually, let's skip Hero's Cape. That's the next one, right? Yeah, you want to save that with the A specs and the other A specs. Yeah. Um, and so we have Uniclus here and Uniclus. So I, I did like a giveaway um, a few weeks ago, and the thing that like it was like give me an, a deck idea, or it was no, a video idea. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't actually submit any video ideas, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, so was, uh, some people submit deck ideas. The one that won was Orbital. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm actually going to make it. I played it. Tell, tell tell everybody what the Orbital does because it doesn't. Um, Orbital, yeah. So it's a stage two, um, yep. and for each energy attached to it, um, not card, but energy so you can use reversal, double turbo. But um, yep. you search your deck for a stage two and put it straight onto your bench, um, which means you can kind of accelerate stage twos or something like that, uh, which is kind of fun. It was really bad. Um, <laughs> it was like really or really not good. It just didn't work. It was like a control you build it. It didn't work. Um, yeah. So, Anyway, moving on to Reuniclus, it's an attack here, Summoning Gate. For one color, let's look at the top eight cards of your deck and put any number of Pokemon you find there onto your bench. Shuffle the other cards into your deck. Uh, this is kind of like Orbital. It's less consistent. It's kind of like a Chandelure, I believe. Is I think that's the right card. Okay. But that was different. That did, in addition to putting Pokemon onto your bench, it did like massive amounts of damage. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> that was better. And even that wasn't, wasn't that good. Um, it did play like 40 Pokemon, though. So that was kind of funny. Uh, not very good, but funny. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's a stage two makes it almost unplayable. Because I was thinking, right, because getting a stage two, you're probably not even getting it into, into play turn two most of the time, right? Um, and then this uses your attack. It's not an ability either. Um, so it's pretty random what you're going to hit. I, I We do have the supporter we're going to get to that you can guarantee the top two in your deck. So something like that maybe you pair with it, but you know, that that's just a lot of work to probably when you have better options, I would think. Yeah, there's also an item card we're gonna look at that helps out stage twos, but it's not like that good. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't know. I mean this isn't like it's funny. I'm definitely gonna play it. It's gonna be bad. It's yeah, it's gonna be bad. Because I was thinking look, if it was a stage one, I don't even think it's I, I it's gonna be good. And if it was a basic, i I'm not really sure how good it would be as a basic. Quite no, frankly. I think it would be broken as a race. I think it would be okay as a stage one. Um, mm. I don't know. It's, you still can't do it your first turn. You well, use but your it's attack. in control. In, in control. Yeah. But, okay. I mean, in control. All right. But but just control, not attacking decks, probably. Yeah, right? pretty much. Probably just control. Because you can't give up, like, multiple turns just setting up. To uh, start yeah. doing damage. Okay. So it, it's it's an interesting card, but it's... I, I See, I think the... Um, the du the Dunsparce is much more interesting card than Re Reuniclus because I, I just think it's much more playable. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I think this is more interesting. I think it's funny, but I don't think it's good. Um, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's an it's a meme deck to just try and say, look what I'm trying to do here. Oh, it didn't work. I, I, that's what I think it is. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want to talk about next? Do you want to talk about the eight specs? Do you want to talk about the other new reveals? Uh, why don't we do the A specs and then and then do the other other reveals? Okay, so um, first of all, we have uh, Heroes Cape here, which is a uh, sorry, I'm like the, the Poke Beach's ads are just but, <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I know it's nonstop ads and videos and it, is this it, even like like legal? Like I think it is. Anyway, right, um, well, I, <laughs> I don't know so, what you're seeing, so <laughs> um, it's probably it's fine, I guess. Um. Anyway, so Hero's Cape uh, has um, is an ace spec, it's a tool, um, yep. and the Pokemon card, the Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 100 HP, uh, which is simple. It's kind of like Lumina, Lum no, Luxurious Cape, um, but right. it's better. Um, so, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, obviously, 100 extra HP is really big. Um, yeah. And, and it's not limited. There's no restrictions to non-rule box or basics or evolution or anything like that. So it's 100 on anything, which is good. Um, and as a tool, you can recover it easier, right? Because you, well, you have at least Roseanne's backup, right? To, a support is guaranteed to recover it if you want to keep recycling it. 
Yeah, there are. I was going to say a few ways. I was going to say grand ball, but I think that's rotating. But yeah, there, there are some ways to recover it. Yeah. Um, the big thing I don't like about it or any ace pick tool is lost vacuum, which is lost owns it, which is bad for you. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. It's not like the most common card, but it certainly sees play. And yeah, it, that'd the, be bad. Now, lost vacuum, we're losing past to the peak. So I think that's going to, lost vacuum is going to drop off, right? Because a lot of times, half the decks that play it are there so they can get rid of the lost vacuum. Yeah, that's probably true. Probably most of the decks that play it are there to go to path. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's a tool. It does make it more vulnerable. You can grab it with, um, what, Pokemon Store, if I'm getting the name right, the stadium. Uh, the town, town store. Town store. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So, so you have ways to get it potentially and you can recover it. 100 HP is good. How often is this? You know, obviously you only get one A spec. So, how's it stack up? I, I don't think it's going to get played in most decks, certainly, though. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll be played in like average decks. I think Prime Catcher is better. Um, they're, they're not exactly comparable, but they kind of are. Right. Um, but then it's, uh, like I so one I was thinking so luxurious capes played obviously some not a ton but would you play this with with luxurious cape as like an upgrade um and I think you might but you might not yeah but then especially because like there isn't computer search which is just like or so far we haven't seen computer search right. um which is obviously like computer search is is like good for setup but there isn't really good setup the only setup a spec that's universal is master ball which is not that good. So, um, like, if you're a stage two deck, like, Prime Catcher versus, like, Luxurious, or versus Heroes Cape, it, like, doesn't really matter for setup. Um, but I don't know. I think, and then this with some, there are some super tanky options. Like, you can get a Pokemon, yeah. like, 500 HP, which is, like, really scary. Mm-hmm. Um, not, like, actually 500, but, like, yeah, pretty much. So, you, you can, can get ways to take less damage. So, um, there's something I'm going to talk about later. That, right. And, and there's a number of Pokemon that, that do damage based upon damage catchers on them. So now you, you, you have the potential for this Pokemon to one-shot anything because you can pile on the damage counters to above 300, too. Depending. Yeah, I guess like Gardevoir will probably like this. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they'll play it, right? Because they're probably going to well, be relying... What's it going on? Because Gardevoir's uh, probably... losing the Gardevoir and the Zacian V, right? Yeah, but on Screamtail, and Screamtail yeah. uh, would play like, like the Zero's Cape, which is kind of good, but like also obviously gives them an extra prize. Right. Um, and this doesn't. And I feel like Prime Catcher is like pretty mediocre in that. I mean, it's like good, but it's not nothing insane. Uh, I don't know. There's some like, because yeah. there's Cryptomaniacs deciphering or whatever, the one that the supported that's a re- semi reprint of, of Mallow that looks at your deck, puts any two cards on top, yeah. which is like kind of good with. Prime catcher, but you know, I think I think Heroes Cape is pretty good. No, it, it, yeah, uh, yeah. No, it'll see play. It's not gonna. It's not the. It's not gonna be the go-to a spec though. I'm pretty certain to, of that though. Yeah, um, but anyway, I don't think there's too much more to say about that. Right. Uh, then it could lead to some big Pokemon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the other a specs that were out. If you're not familiar, b- before this there was a uh, Prime Catcher, which is Guzma. There is Neo Upper Energy, which is two of any ener- of all energies on a stage two, and then Master Ball Search for Anyone Pokemon. So uh, yeah, those were the ones that were out, I think, before this, and and so yeah, Prime before Ca- our that we've talked about on pre- the previous podcast or podcast, and, and those were all that had been revealed to this to that point of of I think Heroes Cape coming out, right? I think there's six uh, in total yeah. now that we know of. Uh, yeah, we've seen six. They're going to they're gonna be seven in the set. Right. Uh, so I hope, I'm going to say, I hope the last one's, uh, but I forgot the name of the card. Uh, Scoop of Cyclone. There we go. Um, I hope it's that, because that'd be fun. Um, it might yeah. be broken. Or might not. It probably wouldn't be broken, but it'd be, it'd, it seems fun. But um, right. it probably won't be that. Yeah, we'll see, right? We, we, and then, right. So we know six of the seven, and I think what there's going to be what eleven or thirteen. I guess we don't know about that yet. In total, yeah, I guess we don't know. Yeah, we that. don't know. I think probably more. Like it seems weird that they'd uh, drop like a bunch in the seven in one set, and then just like a few in the sets after. Yes, um, I, I don't know though. I'd love it if there were like twenty. Um, yeah, that seems like a decent number, but. Especially if they do some more specific ones. But anyway, let's talk about the next ones. Um, so yep. first of all, you have Drum of Awakening here. Uh, oh, and the next one's the one's Ancient, the one's Future. Yeah. Um, so 
uh, Drum of Awakening, and we're going to switch it up this time because I'll be talking about the Ancient One. Uh, <laughs> so uh, draw a card for each year. Yeah, because 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 kind of uncommon fossils old. Uh, so if you like uh, to anyway, point out. Yeah, I mean it's in your name. True enough. Yeah. Good. Anyway, so a drum of awakening. It's an item. Both these are items, uh, and they yeah. are the ones ancient. The one is future. They don't just interact with those Pokemon, but they are actually that type of card, which kind of matters. Yeah. Um. Oh, and a specs. I guess I should say you can only have one a spec. But aside from that, they're more or less normal cards. They're not Prism Stars, so they don't go to the Lost Zone right. or anything like that. Um, not that that matters a ton, but could matter some. But Drum of Awakening uh, is an item. Draw a card for each your Ancient Pokemon in play. Very simple. It can draw a lot of cards. Uh, there are some Ancient Pokemon that got revealed that, mm-hmm. um, long story short, want a bunch of Ancient Pokemon in play. Yeah. Um, and I've, like, so if you're playing, if this is, I think it needs to be draw four is very good value. Uh, I mean, well, no, I mean, draw two is good value, um, but like draw four is better than prime catcher. Yeah, I mean, they're not comparable exactly, but like that's where I'd say like you need to be drawing four for it to be your a spec. OK, I, I, I'm just going to say this. You, you were harsh on the Dunsparce, which draws three. And then but that's somehow that's a stage one. I know, but this is oh, like but you up. still but this is a one of card in your deck that can't mean you can't play something else. So. Uh, is for that much, you know. Uh, anyway, well, no, well, I don't think Dundas Force is like trash. I don't think it's. I'd choose to play Curlier over it. I think, like, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're very similar cards. So if there's a card that I'm saying, oh, I'd rather play this card, then it's gonna, even yeah. if it's only slightly better, it'll see okay. way more play. Um, but yeah, Drum Awakening, I, I think I like this. I mean, I, I think yeah. it's potentially really powerful. Yeah, no, it's good. It, it's good. I mean, obviously, it's only for ancient decks, so it's not gonna be universal but and even for ancient decks it's still going to be decision right because the uh prime catcher may be better or something else um probably prime catcher would be the one i would guess maybe heroes yeah probably prime catch so uh but it's it's a nice draw you have to get it and of course you 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 play it once and you don't get it back again probably you can silene to get the, the, these items back but um on top of your deck that is but that that's probably not really what you're going to do yeah, especially like just play a supporter at that point. Um, yeah. even, it could be better than a supporter, which is nice. Like this is, well, I was gonna say this is the only a smack that can only be that can be better than a supporter. One that's kind of a stupid thing to say because the one's a special energy and the one's a tool, but right. um, uh, that's not really true. But um, drum awakening, I think is like really good. Mm-hmm. Like in ancient, I think pretty much every ancient focused. Like I don't think roaring moon will play this. Um, well, the, right, toy... which, which is the ancient deck right now, because in that then plays sometimes the dark V star, which doesn't rotate. And does the more Pico rotate? No, that doesn't uh, rotate either. No, right? no, that came out in the same set. Yeah. So, which, which aren't ancient Pokemon. So it, it also means you probably can't mix non ancient Pokemon in your deck, which means you can't play an engine then, right? Well, you think you can play some, uh, I, I wouldn't play it too many. I don't know. I think, I don't think it would go in that deck. It gets you. It's like draw two, maybe draw three. So yeah. It's not that good. Um, you could have a one card engine, one deck slot on the engine, probably if you're going to play Drum of Awakening. I would think. Oh, one bench spot, you mean? Yeah. When whether it's a basic or an evolution, you don't want to give up more slots that hurt Drum of Awakening. Probably if this is your ace. Back. I guess. I mean, Drum of Awakening isn't like a build around card. It's just a nice addition. Yeah. Just like Prime Catcher. Um, yeah. No, look, it's it's a good card. I I I like it. It will get into more ancient Pokemon to see the synergy there, but um, it it doesn't take it over the top, which which is probably a good thing. The ancient decks, I don't think. Yeah, I, and right now we don't have any like quote ancient deck. We have Roaring Moon, right. which is like the main attacker, but it's not really an ancient deck. Um, right. And I think that's it. Oh no, there's some like. I don't know. Like, there's some other things, but they're not that good, and they they're not like all ancient. So, um, right. Yeah, I, I think I think Drum Awakening's like is good. I don't. There's nothing. It doesn't like do anything crazy. It doesn't do anything new either. But I think it's a good card. Yeah, I, I think since it's limited to ancient decks, I think it could have been better. I honestly, the next card, I this this is the one that excites me a lot more. I think you don't see this one as as good, and that's going to be reboot bot which is the future okay i'll say i do think this one is it's probably better um but i think they're close in value 
Okay. I mean, it obviously depends. No, I, I don't know. I, yeah, this one, like, does something. As I said, <laughs> Drum of Awakening doesn't, like... Well, it also, no, it does something different. Drum of Awakening yeah. just, like, draws a bunch of cards, which is nice, but it can't ever really enable it deck. But this card... Well, we'll talk about this card. Right. There's other ways to draw cards. That's the one thing, right? So it's nice... Yeah. Drum of Awakening, but I think Reboot Bot to me is the one I, I got excited about when I hear about it. And it, it, it depends on what the other future cards are or the ancient cards, right? But this is an item card. For each of your future Pokemon to play, choose a basic energy from your discard pile and atta attach to that Pokemon. So you need energy to the discard pile, but a lot of decks want that anyway. So um, we have Ultra Ball, we have Earth and Vessel, so we have ways to discard. Um, I don't think we're really losing any discard cards because we ha don't have that many anyway. But um, it's, you know, uh, just obviously the potential to up exploit six energy if, if, if everything comes together on you is, is tremendous. Uh, yeah, um, there are a few things to talk about uh, with this. Uh, there's a lot, right? So okay. it's all to different Pokemon. And yes, like it's not you don't need energy on all your Pokemon like ever, right? Not usually. I mean, there's some decks do, but I don't know that the future decks are looking for that. No, uh, yeah, no, no, that's it. That's it. You, you, you figure it out. Um, okay. It's obviously Toad Scroll. Yeah, that's that's what this is for. <laughs> toad, Sc toad Scroll, right? With with one Toad Scroll and all a bunch of uh, future Pokemon on the bench. Yeah, yeah. No. Um. So, but no, uh, it's like kind of, you're kind of wasting energy. So they need to look at the other future Pokemon. Right. I don't remember what the new ones revealed were, but I don't think they're like insanely good with this. I'm looking at them quickly. Yeah, they're not like anything crazy. Well, let me say this, and 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 we're, we still are. I hopefully going to get more ancient and future Pokemon. I'm not sure how many more, but I hopefully more because because the the future tool to me is one of the best tools around, but it doesn't see a lot of play because the future Pokemon aren't that good, right? Well, we've seen we have like five, and we're getting like fifteen in the next. Actually, I don't know if that's right, but we're getting we're getting a bunch. Coming yeah. Up. Yeah, but you know, you know, the, the the future tool is awesome, right? It, what twenty plus damage and free retreat is a great tool. Again, the future Pokemon at the, up to this point are are pretty pretty meh. Um. Well, yeah, or at least don't have a ton of synergy with the the tool. Um. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, so this is good. Um. What are your thoughts? Like, how do you think this would be used? That's what I want to hear, and then I'll tell you how I think it could I, be used. And I don't have a good answer to that yet because I haven't dug into the new cards well enough yet. I've been look, you know, I've been looking at them some. Um, I I don't I don't have an uh, an overpowered thought for it. That's what I'll say. But I think it opens up a lot of things. That that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, that's kind of what I was and, and the to other say, the you nice... don't you don't have a good reason. You're just no, reason. but it also is no, any no. type of basic energy, right? And I think there are some dragons and stuff as well, right? So it can be a multi even not dragons, you can have multi energy types in a deck and it makes that more viable too. Yeah. So like a toolboxy future deck. Yes. Yeah. And I, I saw a video, I think it was by Professor Folk. Sorry, I did not I didn't did not finish watching the video. So if you're watching this, sorry, but I, I will do that. Um I, I'd like glanced at, but I hadn't looked at the cards yet, so mm -hmm. it's like it seems like weird to watch. Um, so, but you can do a toolboxy thing, and one of the Pokemon you can pair it with is uh, Iron Leaves EX. This one has its ability that says when you play it. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, maybe this isn't as good as I thought. Uh, okay, well, um, you, when you play it, you can uh, from, from onto the bench, you can switch it into the active and move a bunch of energy to it. Mm -hmm. So this will kind of power itself up. And gets value out of Pokemon or energy spread throughout. Um, and then I think you're looking at obviously probably like energy switch um, to power stuff up because a lot of the attackers are three energy. And then a lot of the future mm -hmm. attackers also are psychic. So you can use Zadu if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying. What's, what's the. Where, where, where are you seeing that Pokemon? It's not on this tab, is it? No, it's on the, the ones released, uh, I think, last week. It okay. was on. Oh no! It was a, a little while ago. It was like two weeks ago. Yeah, no, no I was looking at it, ago. but I can't. Do you remember the title? Just so I can take a peek at it. Uh, yeah, it's the one with Walking Wake, Iron Leaves, more uh, on the twenty third. On the twenty third. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, all the way back to the twenty third. Oh, 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 uh, why? Oh, okay. I see it. Yep. Uh, thank you, sir. So. Uh, anyway, so I think that's interesting. I, I think it it can be really nice. Uh, I've talked about future loss zone mm -hmm. i don't 
necessarily think this would be good in future Lost Zone. Uh, and I do believe that has very much has the potential to be the best deck in format. I always say that Lost Zone is going to be the best deck in format with like some new thing, and it's always the best deck in the same way. And right, no, I don't know. It's it's always it's really good. Um, yeah, it's right near the top, right? Mm-hmm. And you can do like a lot of different things with it as well, which is obviously good for it. But yeah. um. Yeah, I don't think you'd play this in Future Lost Zone. But I think the card's interesting. Uh, there are some new future Pokemon. So future Pokemon, honestly, are way more interesting than ancient ones, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have kind of rapid strikey stuff, but more so uh, they're similar to Team Plasma. And there's a deck called TDK. I think I'm... I, I don't know if that's the name of the okay. deck. I, I really could be wrong on that. But it's the Team Plasma deck. Um and the main cards, what I'm going to say are the main cards, which mm-hmm. aren't actually the TDK, but like Thunderous and Deoxys EX and uh, Lugia EX. So those three yeah. EXs, they've been, quote, pseudo reprinted. Um, uh, Iron Hands EX is like uh, Lugia EX. Uh, Iron Crown EX is like, uh, which is it? Deoxys EX mm-hmm. and, uh, and Thunderous EX was the last one we hadn't seen. So there's a Mirad on EX that's kind of like it. Um, so that's the thing I figured I'd mention. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that deck could play or would play this reboot bot card, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think it will be uh, right. We have the the one that moves energy to it when it goes in the active. That was um, which one? Iron leaves, right? Which can attack. Yeah. And, and we keep now Thornton. That stays in format. Is that correct? Uh, yes, it yes. So, it does. so we can so we can iron leaves from the bench. So you use the um. What what's the t- whatever that that tool reboot, card? reboot bot reboot which is bot kind of a weird name for it. and then you swing your iron leaves in the active and then you Thornton into your um like iron hands anything or, oh, exactly iron hands. yeah yeah say so, so yeah then you can pull and then you can pull off amp you very much with a with with ease every turn right exactly no, I think <laughs> I think this will help like, with like amp you very much uh, yeah. with iron hand I guess it's not like that good like yeah I'm I mean not for sure playing like a it... bot is like like. Uh, well, we'll see. I, I think it's cool, though. I think uh, Psychic and Lightning as well are the two types for... Yeah, I mean, Iron Crown's like. hitting 50 to 2, right? And and you have the, the pinging with the um, Iron Valiant, so it makes those numbers kind of intriguing and such, so... Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Oh, oh, I guess K, which is Kyurem, is also kind of like Iron Crown. Uh, actually, wait, is that the right Kyurem? Which, um... Let me pull this up. Uh, I probably shouldn't be. I'm getting off track. Uh, eh, it's kind of like Kieran. I, I don't know why Kieran was good. Like Kieran was kind of mediocre. But anyway, so yeah, I think that's it for those e specs, though. Um, we'll you, we'll yeah. talk about some other ancient future Pokemon, but I think I want to talk about the trainers as well first. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and I want to talk about I want to talk about hand clippers. What are hand clippers? Like they're, they're for oh, cut, cut, the image is cut how you cut your hair with. With clippers that you hold in your hand, they're, they're oh, hair clippers. Oh, I thought they were like nail clippers, but so like cutting your fingers off or something. Your hand, yeah, yeah. The, the, so maybe they'll call them. Yeah, we we would probably call them hair clippers, not hand clippers. Yeah, which is like aren't clippers like scissors as well? Like they can be, but but they're called clippers too. So okay. I think it, some things are regional too. So I I don't know if this is the final translation. Yeah, but, that's like kind of. I was kind of like disturbed when I read that. But anyway, so the co- the card does is really, this is really interesting to me as like a mm-hmm. control play. I haven't played that much control recently because it's well, it's been too good, honestly. So it's not as fun. But um, <laughs> it's an item. Both players discard cards from the hand until they have five cards. Yeah, your opponent discards first, and you don't do anything if you have five or less. But um, one, I saw someone say this is the. The only way to trigger the um um not the what's it it's not among Amungus, yeah uh, Amungus from Silver Tempest which when you uh, discard it, um, so but your opponent thing. would have to choose to discard the card right? Oh no, yeah you, no they would. Oh if your opponent no, yeah, it, it's as if, it, as if you discard Amungus from your hand by your opponent causing you to you win the game is that what it is? Uh you you don't win the game. What does it do? <laughs> No, your opponent discards their whole hand. Um, oh, okay. So, Sorry. No, so here, I'll right. read. I got the bill. It's it's. No, I remember it was so this crazy. absurd card. So yeah. Yeah. So surprise spores during your opponent's turn. So it's really during your opponent's turn. If this Pokemon is discarded from your hand by an effect of an attack, mm-hmm. 
Oh wait, no, maybe just oh yeah, yeah. But from attack, so this is not an attack. Your opponent's Pokemon, no, or an effect of an opponent's item or supporter card. Okay, yeah. Then you just cut your opponent's hand. Um, so if someone plays hand clippers, but that's not a reason to want to play hand clippers. It, it's a reason no, to that's a reason to not play hand clippers. Right. Um, if hand clippers comes big, then you start playing sticking a in your in your deck. Right. That that's. Yeah. Uh-huh. He, so, okay, so it, so it's that little silly conversation, but is there a good use for this card, right? Getting to five well, is, and do you, why, why do you want to do well, that? Well, you look at, like, Lost Zone, and they have, like, fi- like I put, like you have, like, 15 cards in your hand. So, so then, like, you lose 10 cards. That's, like, a really big deal. Yes. There, yeah, there are multiple decks that just build up huge hands that just keep drawing, 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 and don't play much on turns. There, there, there are decks like that. Um, besides the one that attacks per p- number of Pokemon in hand, which is what the EX, right? I'm blanking on the name, but you, um, you know what I'm EX, talking about. Uh, it's on EX, or there's also in DD. In DD, will be rotating, by the way. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you can use it to counter that, obviously. But like, I was trying to think: is there a reason um, I want hand is, clippers? Is that my low deck? Is that? Oh, that's rotating, but. Um, Okay. Yeah, and that's just supporters as well. I was thinking. So, um, right. yeah, hand clippers is uh good. But then I think like with control, if you know that your points down to five, yeah. that's obviously that's like kind of high. Uh, mm-hmm. you're not like winning the game off of that, but it's uh it's something you can kind of work down from. And there's mm-hmm. some other control cards. There's grabber, oh. which removes Pokemon from their hand as well. Yeah, and it is an item. Uh, also, oh, Mill. So Mill wants this, right? Up, you know, because. Are we losing Durant, by the way? I haven't yeah, seen much play. Yeah, but there's a new card that kind of kind of replaces it. Okay, and we have Wug Trio. Did you look through all these cards? Uh, I did a little bit. So, <laughs> well, well, but no, but this goes in a mill deck, right? Like, like when you're playing against mill, one of the things you, I, at least I do, is I just don't discard. I just grow this massive hand till I get to like 20, 30 cards till I'm almost deck out, and then I play my Iono, right? And here, yeah. like you have twenty, you've done that twenty cards. Oop, fifteen get discarded. Now I'm in a, Now I'm probably going to lose the game. So it, it it is. It does help Mill. I like Mill. Mill is obviously horrible to play against. I think maybe worse than Stall, personally, because you mm-hmm. just see random things disappear from you as it goes on. But um, th- this does help Mill. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It helps like any like control the style that control Mill or Stall. I'm also. Um, tr- tr- I'm trying to think, is there a reason I want it to, to reduce my hand, right? Because if it got smaller than this, then I might want it to do... Um... Well, it does allow you to just discard cards from your hand. So yeah. if you're like, oh, if you're playing Guard Warrior, yeah, you could play this. Um, You probably wouldn't, but like right. there are t- like early on, somehow you'd get a big hand. I don't know how you're getting this big hand, but right. you get like, a you get like say eight cards, like nine cards in hand. You need to discard a bunch of energies. Mm-hmm. You play this, and you can discard a bunch of energies. Um, right. You could Iono into hand clippers to force them to get rid of one card. That doesn't seem that good, but it's a thing. Yeah, if, you're, um, if you want to play Barrel Engine, you hand clippers down to five. You keep some Ultra Balls, and you can get down to almost to maybe a zero card hand. And and, and Barrel yeah. for five. I, I'm just saying. So, like, I, why are you like having these massive hands? <laughs> why do I? Like, why do I have like a dozen cards, and I don't want to play any of them? That that's probably a better question. But um, yeah. All right, and then uh, and then Order Box you don't like at all. Right. You no, I think order, well, no, order box is interesting. I, I started with hand clippers because I thought the name was kind of kind of weird. Okay. Um, but you want to read order box? I heard some people saying this card's really good. I don't think it's really good. I think it's underwhelming. But okay, so here's the, the downside. The first line: if you use this card, your turn ends. That's a major downside. Now, obviously, turn one going first or even second if you're not go attacking. That's fine. Search your deck for two item cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. So I was thinking, oh, wait, now I have guaranteed access to my A spec item, except now my turn ends and there's a lot of hand disruption. Then you play this and then you get Iono, right? So I'm or not. You get, you get hand clippered. <laughs> I get to choose, though. Yeah, no. Um, so I think. So the one thing people are saying, like, oh, it's good for stage twos. Uh, which it is, right? So you can grab um, rare candy and then yeah. something else, which is good. It's kind of, I think we're losing uh, Peony, right? The one that's, is that the, did I get it right? The discard search for two? Yeah, you did. You did. All I right. think you call both of them, like you always call both of them Peony. They're, they're not both Peony. But yeah, the discard one's Peony. And I think that's rotating, correct? It is, yeah. So this kind of replaces that in a sense, right? You get two um, cards. 
um, two items. You don't get to use them that turn, but you know, I it it, it you know, in a sense, it does some I of guess. the same thing. Yeah, kind of. Well, well P, I'd rather play Peony and then be able to use the rare candy that turn, right? Yeah, but then but you but then you discard your hand, so you you need to get the other stage too. Yeah. But like, there's no evil incense, so I guess you could grab Peony for like Candy Master Ball, but obviously, <laughs> like, that's not a thing that you can do because they're not together. So. Yeah. Um, so I I. It, yeah, so I'm skeptical as to how good it will be. Um, yeah, Control we've seen... obviously wants it, I guess. Yeah, and we've seen cards like... Um... I was going to say, uh... oh, like, so Rotom V is Ashton we have seen play, but then, like, right. um, what's the card? Like? Then Sylveon V isn't, like, seen any play, which is, like, kind of weird... I mentioned this in my video where I like review these cards. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't say that it is as a control, and then like Steven's resolve is really good. Uh, that did search yeah. for any three cards, which is better than <laughs> two items. Lot. Yeah. Um, it was a supporter, but in your hand turn, you can play a supporter, then play this, though. Um, yeah. I mean, just the fact that it ends your turn is a big downside. So, uh, well, I, yeah, obviously. But <laughs> I mean, it goes in Snorlax stall, right? I guess. Now, the good thing, which I don't want to see that get better, um, the good thing for that is rotation. We are losing Echoing Horn. Yeah. So, so um, just be, I'm, I'm thankful for that because that is an important piece in, in Star Wars. But there was a card I didn't realize that we had that I think is pretty decent. Uh, someone was like, you know, this card isn't good. It's not like that good, but it's it's a, it's worse than Echoing Horn, but it's okay. And that's a, it's, that's a, man, what's the Pokemon that evolves from Mantike? Uh, I don't uh, remember. Mantine, yeah, from Astral Radiant, Radiance, uh, Born to Shore, um, for one colorless, put a basic from either player's discard onto that player's bench. So that's an attack that does this thing, mm -hmm. same thing as Echoing Horn, which yeah. is going to be pres presumably played in Snorlax style. I think it is worth running, not as good as Echoing Horn by any means, but it's still pretty decent. Yeah, but obviously having an item where you can have your Snorlax sitting the active is more powerful. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so that doesn't really have to do with order box, though. No. Um, yeah, no. I think this is pretty mediocre to, to underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it's not a card I'm tr trying to put into a deck list. I will say, I, I, the, the hand clippers that one actually intrigues me because it's it's a bit absurd, and I want to try to get something out of it. But uh, that... well, well, you want to read you want to read emergency board now? Yes. It, so this is a trainer. It is a tool and. The car Pokemon this card is attached to pays one colorless less to retreat. If that Pokemon has 30 HP or less, it has no retreat. And I have been seeing a lot of, of uh, Serena EX lately, so now I have free retreat against that, right? If it's, exactly. If, if they hit the active. and <laughs> but... Even if they hit the bench, you can still get free retreat on the bench. <laughs> I suppose now, now we're thinking outside, outside the box. I could retreat to the active spot now for the bench, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, we had what escape board, right? Which that was what one less, and it went back into your hand when it was. No, that's that's U turn board. Uh, escape it? board was um, you could retreat if you're like asleep or I think par yeah, but paralyzed the ones that stop you from retreating mm -hmm. um, as well, which was good with the Drashi that put itself to sleep. Right, so, um, so those yeah. those retreating tools were better than emergency board, is what I'd say. Because I don't think having thirty HP or, or less is gonna is what I'm striving for. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna like ever happen, right? I, I mean, it could, but like I said, I've been seeing Serena lately, but otherwise, no. So it's one less. But it's not even that good against Serena, right? Like you don't need to switch out. I mean, you kind of do, but yeah, it's not if, that if they have the tool and you can't attack with that, right? And you can't have another way to switch, but it, yeah, yeah, probably not. So one retreat, right? We had air balloon, which was two, so that was twice as good, assuming you ignore this thirty HP part. Um, and we had these older tools that were better as well. You could be asleep, or it could go back into your hand rather than being discarded. Um, so it's 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 I, I I miss air balloon. I wish air balloon would come back, and I still do. Yeah, I mean, I think it's this is good with like let's just say Mew, Mew's rotating. Uh... I don't know. You Maybe play it in Lost Zone? Comfy. It's good in Lost Zone. It's, yeah, it's pretty decent in Lost Zone. It's not amazing in Lost Zone, though. And, like, and Maridon decks that, that like the, 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 the anything that wants to play Beach Court, right, could play this? Yeah. I think I think Lost Zone might play this. It might not play this as well because, like, you have Beach Court. 
right. which in my opinion is better. It's different, but in my opinion, it's better. Um, and then you have also, well, you could stack it, right? Like, um, so then you're two less on a on a basic only. Yeah. And of uh, course, if it's an evolution, that you still are only retreat cost to one, so or it reduces by one, which beast court doesn't help evolution, so it, it could have value. Um, yeah, I, I like this card. I think this card will see a bunch of play. A lot of evolutions have retreat cost of two, which is the issue. But I mean, it's still yeah. like good. Yeah, I guess. I, like I said, a retreat cost is two usually for evolutions, and if it's a basic, we have beach court. So I'm not, I'm not loving it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think it'll see some play, certainly down the line at some point. I think it'll see a bunch of play. Okay, maybe. I mean, look, I like tools like this, so I would like to like it to be good. Um, yeah. All right, so we have, now we have some supporters here. Uh, yeah, so. and so for all you Serena EX fans, we got a card for you. Bianca's Sir, No, Bianca's Sincerity, um, <laughs> the supporter. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon with 30 HP or less remaining. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, no. Serena is getting, getting bodied, getting this, harsh. This yeah, set. it is. Um, and just make sure you don't play this before you use your emergency board, right? You exactly, retreat exactly. and then you heal up on the bench. But yeah. anyway, um, so, uh, so I don't know why this card exists. Like, I, it's a counter to Serena EX. It can technically like, um, oh, it can be used in Gardevoir EX. Yes, that that uh, right. Although we're losing the single prize uh, Gardevoir, which is the card that would really love it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, what's the point of this guy? This guy doesn't seem that good. Well, and like I said, the, it, well, there is a connection to Emergency Board because they're both targeting this 30 HP, right? And they're both re revealed together. So uh, I, I don't know why. But um, he, yeah, I mean, I don't love it. I mean, healing's good, right? So, but it has to be 30 or less. Um there, there are some cards that you damage yourself now, too, is becoming more of a thing. So maybe yeah. you're damaging yourself down to 30, and then you're healing back. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I, I'm not sure. At the moment, I don't know what, what I'd do with it. Yeah, I think Gardevoir EX is a use, and it's not an awful use, but aside from that, I don't think there's much. Yeah. Or as no. a counter Serena, but, like, why are you trying to, like, why do you need a hard counter to Serena EX? That doesn't seem that useful. No, I mean, I, we, I, it's understandable why they're printing hard counters to Mew uh, VMAX, because that was just dominating. But Serena's fine. It, it's not ending the world, so just just yeah. let it be. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, then we have a supporter here. Ari, um, look, at the t look at your opponent's hand. Choose two item cards you find there and discard them. This is, I think, a great partner for hand clippers, um, as well as mm -hmm. grabber. So you can do this, yep. and your opponent's probably going to keep items, right? Because those are almost always good to have in your hand. Right. Especially like Pokemon Search. And then and then they're going to keep probably a Pokemon or two. Mm -hmm. So you can go Grabber, possibly two Grabbers, Airy, and then all of a sudden, like, they don't have much. Unfortunately, they probably still have a Supporter, which isn't ideal. Right. Because that's kind of, like, the one thing you want to get rid of. And as far as I know, you can't. Uh, oh, you can, wait, Luxury V's not rotating. You could do that. Um, I mean, this obvious, look, uh, Snorlax Stall is going to love this card, right? Because they want to have those Switch cards in hand. So, boom. Yeah switch switch you, you know and, and your opponent's crying right at that point your opponent's crying and if they're playing live they hit the concede button at that point yeah uh i think this guy's pretty good for control yeah i i, I do yeah i yeah for control stall and, and like in 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 mill it's a it's a piece for mill too of course so um yeah i i, I like the card i you know i i don't know why they keep from making these cards to make control decks better, but but they do so. Yeah, and it's kind of weird because they like kind of don't like control. But they kind of like obviously print cards for it. Anyway, yes. I feel like you want to talk about Great Tusk. All right, Great Tusk. All right, I gotta find. It. Okay, so Great Tusk, which is an uh, ancient type fighting Pokemon, not not the EX, and uh, so collapsed crust crust collapsed. Trying to, I gotta remember these. It does. Uh, for two colorless, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If you played an ancient supporter from your hand this turn, discard three more cards from the top of your deck. Okay, and what, the ancient supporter is what right now? We have one, right? Uh, yeah, we have Sada's Vitality, which okay. is which is good. Added. It helps power it up. It gets one energy onto yeah. this. Um, so I feel like this is like better than Durant. Like it has more HP, which is meaningful. Yes. Um, yeah, it's one forty. It, yeah, and it'll probably mill four, right? Like. There are obviously times when you mill one, if you like miss a supporter, but like right. you really want. And the other supporter is the, 
I don't remember the name, but it's I think look at the top six, put two in your hand, discard the other four, which is like okay, mm-hmm. it's pretty decent. Um, yeah. So so the ancient we have this. It's just two colorless, so it's easy to power up. We have Fasada's vitality. Um, we have the oh. new A spec that draws us a whole bunch of cards because you're going to want to fill up the board with Great Tusk probably. Mm-hmm. And then you have Double Turbo obviously as well, which is going to be good. R- right, and we don't lose Palpat, correct? They reprinted that. Uh, yeah, I mean so. that, that virtue had already. Yeah, yeah. Or like the old the old one was out. Yes. So uh, because if we're we're playing our like Professor Sada's every turn, we need we need to get that back. That's why Palpat. The deck wants Palpat too, I think. Um, yeah. And yeah, so that's good. And it has the second attack that is not good. Although I guess if your opponent is not doing anything, Giant Tusk does 160, which is good on a single prize, but it's four energy. So that, I don't feel good about that. Yeah. Uh, and one, I want to say this is a massive upgrade um, over the Great Tusk EX, which does mill five, but it mills five from you. <laughs> Sounds worse. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah, no, I know. Th- I think this great Tusk is, is pretty fun. I think it's very much like Durant. Like it's it's not it's, the same. I think it's better than Durant almost. It probably not, is. Eh, I don't know. It's easier to do, but like you don't really have as much versatility. I don't know if I love it, but I uh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I like playing Milt X. I have to give it a try. So um and hope on you know, and I but I certainly hate playing against mill decks. Like I said, they're very unfun to play against. So I'm going to try it, and I'm going to kind of hope it's not that good because I certainly don't want to see as much uh, great tusk mill as we've seen uh, Snorlax stall. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't think you. I, I I I guess I like playing against mill more. I mean, you like do stuff. What style against mill? Yeah, that 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 is true. That that is true. Anyway, um, and then I want to talk about the other two ancient Pokemon. These actually look really cool. I I really harshed on um on Rowing Moon or no not on these like ancient Pokemon before. Like they didn't really have any mm-hmm. sort of cohesion um for a while. I don't think at all. I'm looking at the yeah no they they, they didn't. Uh, so but now they kind of do with these two Rowing Moon um and Coridon. They are very much go hand in hand again mm-hmm. both with 140 hp to retreat ventral feathers um for on roaring moon for two dark to 70 and 10 more for each ancient pokemon in your discard then mm-hmm. can ride on for fighting colorless primeval wait is that primeval or primeval battering. primeval yeah, battery called, right i think i am not sure i know i think there might be another eye stuck in there or something or some other okay. vowel but yeah that was i i'm i'm not the best speller uh, anyway, so primeval battery, battering does for fighting colorless thirty damage for each ancient Pokemon in play. So you want to get them in play, and then when they get in the discard pile, you're happy as well. So is this the rebirth of Mad Party? Right, that's what everyone's hoping for. I don't know. I wouldn't really say it's like Mad Party, <laughs> but know. I'd say it's more like well, it's it's more similar to um the um stage one, right? Um. Lichen Rock? No, War- Warmadom. Oh, Warmadom, yeah. Warmadom, I was going to say, um, Flareon you have that or... Hound- Houndstone? Um, Houndstone, yes. Yeah, it's, it's probably most like Houndstone, which is one type. Um, I was like Flareon and, uh, mm-hmm. and Warmadom and Vespaquin or any Pokemon uh, as well as, I think there's a base, I maybe, mean, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. Roaring Moon, um, it, it can get pretty, like, 70 bases is not bad. I mean, it's just not amazing, but like, it'll be pushing... Um, turn one, because you can definitely attack with this turn one. You'll be pushing mid, mm-hmm. like um, it can hit what a Cramorant can hit. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I like this guy. I think the the two are going to make like a fun little single prize deck. It's going to be decent. I don't think it'll be like that good. But then you stick on like right. future boost or ancient booster energy caps are up to two hundred. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, and it's ancient card as well. It's not Pokemon. Uh, oh, okay. So we get one um, extra for the, our uh, the, too. the wrong moon. Yeah, and obviously a is super good in this deck. Mm-hmm. I think this is a cool, like, these two Pokemon are nice together. Um, you'll play it with the Among Us guy, the uh, group on it mm-hmm. as well. So that's pretty good. No, I like it. Um, and, 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 and Professor Sada's Vitality is good because they're both, they're two energy attackers. Um, so it gives you some flexibility early, late, what you want to hit for type as well as what, 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 what does more damage. And honestly, I probably... I feel like you want to hit... Dark type. I feel like you don't need to hit Dragon type. 
I'll just say that. No, but but the Coridon does more damage early game probably. Oh yeah, yeah. Coridon early, Roaring Moon late. Yeah. And I, I I'm going to put this out there. I'm probably I'm going to put in at least one Great Tusk because there's a lot of decks that turbo through the deck, right? I mean, I've have a lot of decks that I've been playing where I'm I'm get through my deck close to single digits pretty quickly. And I, you yeah. know, so a great tusk if you, is as a first off, it helps just it gets in play or gets in the discard pile. But also that threat, if your opponent gets too turbos the deck too much, I'm gonna just wipe you out. I like that option too. Yeah, I think that's cool. Um, but anyway, I don't think these are super crazy, um, but they're they're fun. I think they're they kind of complete the ancient package, I guess. Yeah, and they, look, they're they're fun single prize Pokemon to mess around with, right? Which I I know. I like, and I think you like, and a lot of people like. Yeah. Um, but then let's, I want to talk about the future ones. These yeah. are kind of cool. Um, let's talk about uh, Iron Valiant first. The first tech is kind of useless. It's, it's not useless, but it's not anything amazing. I but mean, then, it, it'd be for control, right? If anything, you look at the top four cards, rearrange them. No, it's a view of your deck. No, of your deck. I know, but if you're, yeah, you're, you're trying to set up your next turn. Yeah, but no, they're better things. They're cards yeah. that, like, search. And if they own you or something, you're seeing all of them anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So, okay. Um, But, yeah, you have Majesty Sword for Psychic Psychic Colors. You do 100, but if you played a Future Supporter, if you hand this turn, you do 200, which is obviously a bunch. Um, But then this can be boosted even more to, um, mm -hmm. I mean, like, by multiples of 20 with Ancient Boot, no, sorry, Future Booster Energy Capsule and Iron Crown Neax. So you can be, like, one-shotting a bunch of stuff with this right uh, the three energy that that's that's the tough part right yeah you probably want zadu but then zadu's obviously taking a bench base and then I, I don't know i think this card's cool i don't think mm -hmm. i'll play this in a future loss zone because like you need to be playing a supporter and the supporters are crypto maniacs deciphering which puts two cards on top of your deck or mm -hmm. a professor terror scenario which is like is uh uh, it, it's just like easy. It, it's like scoop up, but you yeah. discard a tent. Um, I don't know. So, I, I think it's pretty good. I think I, it's in like okay. a in an, in a future box deck. It's, it's just the energy cost really has me scared. It what the uh, the A spec right puts one energy on it, right? Yeah. And I you're I, just saying how it like it's like six and you're like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> but the problem is, is it gets it gets one energy. I attach for one, and then I still can't attack unless I hit it with Zatu and switch to the active. So I yeah, it's... or energy switch. I think energy switch is the play. Uh, yeah, oh, look, I I mean, energy switch is a card that has, I it, it just builds brings up bad memories. It just always never seems to be in my hand when I need it, and I have it when I don't. You know, just the time. Uh, I have fond memories of turn one altered creation. <laughs> <laughs> the good old days. The good old days. Well, see, but if we had a, in, the Intellion engine, I could get the, uh, the 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 item, the turn I need it. Then I could see it. But I know people are playing the Energy Switch these days. But it, it just, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I don't love it in Roaring Moon, but I, I like it in. I mean, I think you kind of need it in something like this. Y yeah, you you, might. you only need one uh, Energy Switch. Like, if you needed two, then it would be kind of problematic. But you, you don't. Right. The problem is, is then you're going to get one shot, probably, right? And then you got to do it all over again? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, yeah, like, yeah, your energy switching. I don't know. It's a little weird. You could play with Zadu, and I don't despise that either. Um, but then now, oh, oh, okay. Well, I should talk about Marathon as well. I um, yeah. With the speed peak for Quinkalus, you do 40 um, and search check for up to two basic energy and attach them to your future mm -hmm. Pokemon any way you like. And then your second yep. attack for Lightning Lightning Psychic is 160, which isn't amazing, but not awful. Um, but Speed Peak here is, like, really decent. Um, if you are buffing it by 40, which is not that hard, um, right. then you're one-shotting something, turn one going second, mm -hmm. and then setting yourself up. And this is the, I, I said, it's like Thunderous TX. I don't know if I said that. In, mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it, I think, a few days ago. Um, yeah, not not here. So, right, you have the, uh, what's the future Pokemon that, that boosts the, the damage? Uh, Iron Crown EX. Iron Crown, and you have the tool that adds 20 as well, so... Um. Yeah, getting to, to 80 is not bad. Accelerating. But l after that early turn, I don't, I'm not loving it, uh, though, I will say. No, but I do think, well, you're just saying like how hard it is to set up stuff like Iron Valiant, and this yeah. will be a way to do it. Um, and if you are boosted by 60, your second attack mm -hmm. will go up to one, sorry, 220, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's it's do very doable and right. very, like, very decent. Yeah, no, it, it's... 
certainly in a future box, and that's what I'm hoping for for these ancient and future types is having some flexibility with it. So, and you you search for any two energies, attach them any way you'd like. So you know you can put them together, separate them out. I like it. Yeah, um, and then lastly we have Iron Treads. Its ability dual core, which is kind of cool if it has a future boost energy capsule attached, is both fighting and metal. I mean, that's kind of fun. Yeah, well, fighting is uh, good to hit, right? It, it is metal yeah, now. Fighting. So to add fighting yeah. is a plus. Yeah, this does open up the possibility of hitting both weakness and resistance at the same time, technically. Uh, some of you be thinking, no, it doesn't, because Pokemon that are resistant to fighting are either weak to dark or lightning. But no, there is a way to change weakness. But um, also, like people don't play that. Like it's it's a stupid question. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, then you have your attack, your passing wheel. What is yep. what's what is that? That's a weird name. Um, what's the yeah? I don't know what that means. So, but it does sixty anyway. damage. You move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon, which is good because you're probably getting knocked out. Right, one shot. You're one thirty HP basic. So. Single prize, so uh, you so moving that energy helps cycle through your attacks. Um, yeah, I'll say I think this is like much worse than Maridon. I, I don't think this card is very good, unfortunately. Sixty um, damage is, isn't good enough, right? Mm -mm. Um, I mean, Maridon. It's only twenty more than Maridon, and Maridon accelerates two energy. So um, yeah, I, that that more than makes up for the the twenty less damage. So, yeah, sixty. You're boosting it to like a hundred or something. Maybe you're maybe you can boost it up and woohoo! I one shot a Cramorant, right? But that's you know it's a lot of work just to do that. Yeah, um, so and you like you need to accelerate energy, and so you know this card isn't particularly good, unfortunately. Yeah, but anyway, I think now we have to talk about the card that we are that um, before the podcast we were looking at, and I think both of us, I think I did. I don't think you looked at as many cards as I do, or I, I mean you don't know the cards quite as well as I do. No. Um, but you know them pretty well. Um, but it's Relicanth. Uh, it's a basic Pokemon with an ability. That's mm -hmm. all we're interested in here. Um, it's not searchable by Buddy Poffin, but yeah. Um, right, it's 100 HP, ability. so, yep. Uh, deep Memories. Each of your evolved Pokemon in play... Or, oh, they don't need to be in play, but um, they, they kind of do. Um, each of your... <laughs> I guess by definition, an evolved Pokemon has to be in play. Uh, anyway, each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attacks from its previous evolutions. You still right. need the energy. Uh, and this is a pseudo reprint of uh, Shining Celebi. Or it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a reprint. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen this effect before. So, memory energy. Um, and it's been good and expanded. Um, not so much in standard. Um, but, yeah. yeah, so this is now, interesting. I'm just going to say there's a difference in terminology between evolved and evolution. So, uh, in, yeah. Right? If you're not aware, so in evolution, like if you play your st Archaeops stage two directly on the bench, it's an evolution, but it's not an evolved Pokemon. So if you had a stage two that j didn't have other Pokemon under it, it couldn't use those quote attacks on the other Pokemon because it's not. Yeah. Well, those Pokemon evolved. aren't there right there. So it exactly. Really matter. Yeah. So it helps clear that question up though. Yeah. Um. Anyway. And then obviously if you rare candy, you can't use the stage one. Well, right. I assume, yeah, I guess you have to rare candy from basic to stage one. Stage two. Until they add a um, stage four, right? Yeah. No, there are like stage three is kind of like there. There's some stuff like that, but I don't know. Really. As far as I'm aware, you cannot make candy any of them. So, and anyway, <laughs> um, so did you find anything? I found a few things. Nothing particularly good. Um, look, you you had mentioned it like the Arceus V Star, where you only have a single DTE in hand that turn. You can't do the 200 damage, but you want to accelerate with the energy. You want to use the V Star power. So there's times that's occurred, but I don't think that's enough of a payout to actually want to. Put this in my sixty cards deck. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, um and, and and like Giratina V Star, that could you know being able to hit through effects, right? Because uh, Mimikyu, I've been you know winning games recently with Mimikyu in a lot of cases, so hitting through effects is important, which the V does, not the V Star. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, okay, the um, V Star can KO Mimikyu with its V Star power, but not with its regular attack. Right, it can only do one though over the whole course of the game. Yeah. But anyway, so the first one I'll mention here is something that someone pointed out to me uh, in a comment, although I thought of it before, I will say. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was Twilight Chump Enthusiast. I don't remember. could have been someone else. But okay. it was Regilecki of V and VMAX. And to me, this is the most appealing one. So Regilecki VMAX, obviously, is a VMAX. has a bunch mm -hmm. of HP. And that doesn't rotate. Is that correct? 
No, they came out in Silver Tempest. Okay. So um, it has 310 HP and uh, has free retreat as well, which is kind of cool. Um, but then Reggie Lucky V, it has switching mm. bolt, but it doesn't matter that much. Oh, lightning yeah. Lightning Wall, however. Yeah. Yeah, it does for lightning colorless colorless. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks. That's true. That that is, And that is a very good attack on it. I, I like that. I, I use that attack many times. Yeah, that being said, you're only getting up to 300, essentially, which is still a lot, but, you know. Um, but with right. like VMAX, you're essentially getting up to 410 HP. And then there is uh, Hero's had, Cape, I believe. Yes. Yep. And now we're at uh, over. They have to hit over 500 to one shot. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so they're probably not one shotting you. Uh, they're probably not two shotting you. Yeah. They might. Um, but they probably need to like gust around you and then like like switch you out and back in. Like that's so brutal to get rid of. So I don't know. I think that could be good. <laughs> right, because Maridon's sticking around. Obviously, um, we're losing now. We're losing Flaffy for the lightning decks, but we have Electric Generator. Um, so it's still it's viable. And yeah, yeah, for something that's super tanky, that 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 that's very appealing. Yeah, um, and I figured you'd like that one. And then it's yeah. kind of kind of tanky still here. We got and I got like a list on my phone that I'm looking at, and I, have, I only have like six cards. In the, I look through both okay. of us look through. Well, I look through like essentially every card in standard. Um, yeah, I, I went really through. And, up I kind of skimmed I, skimmed them. I I saw some things that were kind of controlish, like you had some like things like a clutch type attack that that stopped gut retreating right on basics yeah. that, that that could be but none of them were like overpowering yeah i, I found a few control ones i, I found a bunch of control ones a few made the cut mm-hmm. that we'll discuss okay. reggie v, reggie lucky v and v max i think is the best one but okay. sticking with the reggies reggie gives a v star um this one i think saw play in standard with memory capsule like like a very little Did amount that... of play in standard because it rotated very quickly after okay i mean it saw play like it didn't really see much play but like um so Reg- Reggie King's V-Star is a Pokemon uh, that has 300 HP, which is a bunch. Yep. Um, it has four retreat costs, which is not so good. <laughs> and its attack says for 230 for three, you can attack next turn. It has a cool V-Star power, mm-hmm. um, but that doesn't really matter too much. What matters is you got um, Angry Whack on the V <laughs> for three colorless. Uh, you do 100, and it does 10 more damage for each yeah. damage kind of on this Pokemon. If any Pokemon is now confused, um, that is a lot. Yeah, Potentially, it's probably going to be one shot like everything, assuming you're not getting one shot. Right, you're attacking with the V star, they hit into you, and then you angry whack them back. Right. Generally, uh, that's that's the yeah, ideal wait, wait, scenario. You hit them with what? You hit oh, yeah, them with the V star attack out. first. What's that? You just switch out though. Oh, because it can't attack. It's not that. It's not one. It doesn't say it can't use this attack. Yeah. Oh, so the, okay, and it's a double switch, and it's the retreat cost, of course, is insane. Um, yeah. Okay. I uh, think but, that's like interesting. Oh, you you are confused after Angry Whack as well. Which so. which which is useful. Um, what do you mean? Well, it's bad. Confusing your opponent. Oh oh this. Oh, I thought you confused yeah, your yeah, opponent. You confuse yourself. All right. Well, that's a lot of downside. Look, there are. This isn't the uh, the idea of a revenge attacker, right? Which there are some earlier evolutions that evolved something that did have a revenge attack. I think right, and that that's a way to go. With this yeah. type of thing, copy a revenge attack if it's not on the final evolution. Yeah, um, but anyway, so those are probably the two best ones. I think Reggie Lucky is the best one. Next up, mm-hmm. though, we got a classic um, for control players and for general. That's that's the Curly Engine. Um, so obviously, Curly and Gallade and um, yeah. Gojo Yax are like very good. Yeah, and there's Vaults with a uh, Memory Skip, which says for for one colorless does ten. You probably want to stop doing that ten, so probably stick double turbo on. Uh, but you choose when your opponent's attacks, uh, active Pokemon's attacks mm-hmm. during that next turn. They can't use it. It's a controlly thing. It's like a decent controlly thing as well. So, um, right. It, yeah, it, I kind of like this. I mean, they can switch out of it and switch back in. Yeah, or retreat, it, it reset. Well. Right. Yeah, and just to an, a different Pokemon too. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could have some 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 play, I, not a ton, but yes. Yep. And then I got I got three more control cards for you. Okay, good. Um, so some of your favorites we got starting off with the slow guys. I don't what do they call these? Um, I don't know, like the slow poke, slow bro, slow king. So, mm-hmm. um, first there's some like weird stuff. I couldn't really. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, so, so these are attacks on the the slowpoke that you're cutting a copy. Yeah. So the slowpoke, you got um, 
which one is it? I just like imagine this card. Slow poke um, heal thirty from yourself. I don't think that's what. I thought there was one. Maybe there isn't one. Because I did think I took a little look at it, but I might have missed something. Yeah, maybe not. Let, let, let me check. Let me check here. Um, I don't know the Galarian ones or something. There's tail fishing. Uh, flip if it, it flip a coin of heads. You search your deck for a card. I mean, um, maybe I thought there was one that recovered a card. Um, oh, oh no, it's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From Pokemon Go, there we go. I found it. So it's the second attack. I thought it was the first attack. Okay. So for one water, an mm -hmm. item from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. Um, so this is potentially good. Um, and then you have a bunch of different slow bros and slow kings. You have yeah. slow king ex notably. Mm -hmm. Um, and you played with that, right? And um, yeah, it's super good. Yeah, I mean, I, I super good is probably overselling it, but yeah, you know, it's kind of bad. But uh, and the, the NJ timings are different. Um, right, and you, and you have this. We have the slow bro that that wins us the game, right? That's the key because because you're always it win you the game. It, you, you better like, hope so. Prizes. If it doesn't win you the game, you're losing with, with any of these slow yeah. decks. No, there is a is, is there not a slow bro that just wins you the game? At some point, not in standard, but I thought there was. Was there an old one? There's one that loses you the game. <laughs> Um, oh, that was um, kind of bad. Uh, yeah, maybe there wasn't. Maybe I'm just thinking of the one that went to the game, or it could have been some like super old card. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, but so that was the one, and then there's yeah. two more. Um, we have of course the great Tinkaton, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good engine. We just card one, draw three. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Tinka Tink from I don't think this is the right one. Um, Tinka Tink from. Haldea evolved. I think there are a bunch, but this one is just wrong colors. Put an item for your discard into your hand. Um, so yeah, that's like pretty decent. Uh, there's also the EX, which you could do, but I don't know. Um, and then and on a similar note, there's Magneton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, from Magnazone. Okay. And this is the stage one, so you can't rare candy because you'll skip it. But for two, for uh, for one lightning, put two items from your discard into your hand. Um, and okay. that is, is good, right? Uh, recovering items is, is good. Yes, especially with ace specs. Yeah, you can recover ace specs. Uh, so you can use this one, and then uh, yeah. you have Magnazone EX, which has a lot of HP. What's the HP on that? Like how is that? That's over 300? 330. Yeah, 330. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe. I, I'm not sure, but yeah. It, it, it's interesting, right? It, it, it gives interesting options. The um, the re, the relicanth. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, I think we're we're almost out of time. But <laughs> I think ones, we're uh, way past time. But anyway. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. But which ones do you wanna? I think we don't need to talk about all these. Um. But which ones do you wanna talk about? Uh, Have yeah, you looked at them? I, I didn't look at these as much. I somehow I couldn't. I lost this tab at some point when I was going through okay. them. Okay. Um. So. so real quick, there's Metang, which is an energy accelerator. Uh, right, she's not good. In a, there's Incineroar one shield. EX is worth talking about, right? Yeah, okay, let's talk about that one. So you want to read the ability? Yeah, so it's a stage two, 320 HP. Uh, the ability, adversity act, attacks for this Pokemon cost one colorless less for each opponent's boat benched Pokemon, and the attack cost is one fire and four colorless. So potentially, and you're attacking for just one fire early on. You don't have to wait like the Radiant Charizard until they've taken a bunch of prizes. Um, so that's quite nice. And obviously most decks want a bunch of bench Pokemon. So and it does yeah. two forty and it's and, and and you burn them. So that's you know, so two forty plus so two sixty is, is quite good, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um it's weird. Someone kinda compared it to Radiant Charizard, which is kinda true, but obviously this is a stage two. Um stage two EX. Yeah. Which is I don't know. I mean it can survive a hit. It probably will. Yeah, it, it better, um, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you're just like one shot and stuff, it doesn't have to. No, like, but, like but against then, Warring Moon, you're just like boosh, 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 and then you've you've won. Right. Um, but you have to set up a was, stage two every turn. Then that that's the hard part if you're not getting if you're whooping one shot. Yeah. Um. Oh, there is TM Crisis shot. Well, there's a bunch of TMs. Mm -hmm. You can use the TMs for free potentially with this as well. Right. Um, which is kind of cool. Well, that's the but they have to be down to one prize, right? Um, oh yeah, for TM Crisis Shot, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I don't know if that one would be super useful, but it is a thing. Um, I think this card's kind of fun. Yeah, I like fire uh, decks. It's something I got to give a try to. I don't know how good it's gonna be. 
Yeah. Um, also, okay, so let's talk about real quick the giraffe, no, for the giraffe EX. Uh, it has an ability which is immune to damage done from basic Pokemon EX, which is kind of good, but I don't think mm. it's good enough. We're losing Zoroark as well, so I don't think that's particularly impressive. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously basic walling's a thing, so it, it, and it sees some niche value occasionally, but just, just occasionally. Yeah, um, and then we got we got a few more here. Uh, I think the last one that we'll talk about today, we might talk about, if you want us to talk about some of them in the next episode, comment that down below, though. Um, let's do, let's talk about Feralgator. Uh, I think Feralgator is kind of funny. Uh, mm -hmm. so it has a stage two, one AVHP, which is big, but we'll talk about that in a minute or like in a second here. Yeah. Torrential Heart is the ability that once during a turn, you put five damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do this Pokemon's attacks, do 120 more to your points active during this turn. Right. Um, and so Relicanth, I think, like I was kind of assuming a Pokemon, like they would feel Relicanth, the Pokemon that works well with it. Mm -hmm. If they did, I, it might be this Pokemon, but it might not. Um, so it, it doesn't work that well. But Great Wave for two water. You do 160. Can't use it next turn. Um, mm -hmm. And it does, yeah, so two water, 160, which will be pushed up to, to 280, right. uh, which is a lot. Yep. Um, and then on the pre-evolution, you have an attack that does 100. They, or, no, sorry, 10. They can't retreat, which will be pushed up to 130 or 30. And you switch to the bench, and that's going to be pushed up to one. Um, to one 150 or uh, yeah 150 so i think that's interesting yeah I, I don't love it with the the basic that your pokemon can't retreat because if you're doing a bunch of damage you probably are knocking them out so the retreating doesn't help but, yeah no that doesn't seem that useful but the but, hit and run you could do hit and run yes um reverse thrust depending if there's a good um and there are some good walling thing right like the active that shuts off abilities you're active or something like that right yeah like yeah flood and rain so i think that could be cool yeah, yeah, you have things. I mentioned the Mimic Q that does some walling, some different things, Klefki, different options to kind of mess with your opponent. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for today's episode. Uh, right, there's you know, none of these other Pokemon are that good. We might talk about them later. Um, they have some potential. We didn't talk about Wugtrio EX. Um, it's not that good. <laughs> we can talk about it later. It's funny because it's fun to you, but I think it's a pretty. Uh, all in all, I will say it's looking like a Tempo of Force is going to be a good set of cards. Yeah, probably the best. Uh, is it the best set in a little while? Uh, the, the the recent sets have been pretty good. Yeah. Um, I, like pa Paradox Rift was like pretty good. It didn't have broken stuff really, but it had a lot of very good stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm looking forward to this set. I'm looking forward to Paldea and Face as well. I think it's going to be kind of cool. Um, but I don't think it's going to be super, like it not, doesn't have a ton of new cards, but right. anyway, we hope you enjoyed the podcast. We're going to be doing, um, obviously another podcast next week. So comment down if you want us to talk about something specific, but we hope you enjoyed as always. We're excited to see you in the next episode. Take care.